Where's my character? Hello? Oh, <laughs> I've like burned to a crisp. This more that you want, what is it? Not what, who? But all in due course. <laughs> Wait, um, um. I have been having withdrawals with this game because I haven't been playing for like the past week because I've been busy doing other stuff. And I, I've been fighting the urge of, like, I can't play it right now. I have to do these things. Oh my god, the addiction is so real. <laughs> hey, internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the last episode, we are in the middle of battle with Cethric Thorm, and things took a terrible turn, as in uh, Alien, the night song, turns out to be a person, was taken by Cethric. He ran away, and now we're in the illithid, like... Cave? I don't know what it is, but we're in there. We still need to look for Will's dad, but we managed to save some people that were captured from the tiefling camp, so th that's a win there. And we got Manzora out because she kind of tricked Will, but hey, at least we got that done with. So I'm going to continue and looking around through this place, and hopefully we can find something. Okay, so I figured out the brain puzzle here. Um... I, I did it when I finished the episode because I was like, I really need to figure this out. So I figured it out and there's something over here. So let's go take a look at what it is. Oh, it's like a mural. What the hell? We. Your tadpole echoes, not with presence, but memory, tinged with loss. The grand design, order. Okay, this is creepy. into a sudden fury, burying claws in your mind. Uh-oh. And just as suddenly, pain and memory are gone, leaving only stone once more. The grand design, the restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire. I kind of figured that's what it was. Of all yeah. There's another brain here. Oh, hey. So, looking at it, Catherine is obviously down here. Does it matter if I go through where we found Mizora? I don't know. I just don't want to miss anything. I don't want to cut to a cutscene and then all of a sudden it's like, Hey, you gotta fight Catherine. I'm not ready right now. <laughs> okay. This is new. The barracks? Okay, what I'm worried about too is... There's a- there's two other people that are here, aside from... Catherine. So I'm wondering who- Who is the third person? Because Gorotash is obviously the second one. We keep reading about him here. Oh, sh- Whoa. Who the hell? Okay, that's not what I was expecting here. Okay, who else is in here? There's just separate rooms, I think. Okay, I think we can just, like, look around here. But I'm gonna have to talk to these guys. Hello? We will take the city. Bring every soul. Embrace! General Thorm was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. Oh, I'm playing as, as, as Shadowheart. Whoops. Um... Uh-oh. You should be careful throwing such accusations at a true soul. Trying to pull rank? And yet not a word of concern for our dear general. I shall present your bones to General Thorm as retribution for what you did to him! Okay, well, I- if it was me, my character, I would have been able to deceive them, but I think I had a <laughs> shadow heart clicked by accident. So this is gonna suck. Sorry to these people, but hey, you, you guys gotta die. Uh, let's see. I'm going to enjoy this. <sighs> yeah, I knew that was gonna have like a lasting effect. Uh, let's- oh, I can't really dash. Okay, I'll Heading move up. Out. Am 
Might as well. Not even the word uh, will want your Oh shoot! We got it. Oh god! Oh, we gotta get rid of that mage. Oh no! God damn! Okay, that kind of. Oh my god, what do I do here? Right here? Everybody's on fire! I can't hit her. I can't. Can I jump? Yeah. Uh. Time to push my luck again. Dude, what the heck? Oh, yikes. No surrender. There we go. Oh, that kills the rest of them. Interesting. Do I have water here? I was going to be like, just throw it on the ground. Ow. Wait, I have selected myself. Why was I shadow hard? <laughs> okay, so we got a door here. What the hell is down here? Is this where I went earlier? Okay, so I already went there. Okay, got you. This is where we were. Got gotcha. you. Open this. Oh no. Oh, a healing thing! I can heal myself. Thank goodness. So I was gonna say, I can't be fighting Catherick Thorm like this. This is ridiculous. A whole fleet of Nautiloids. How many true souls have passed through this place? A lot. A lot. Oh. I don't like this. What do, what do you mean by box? What is that for? Okay, everybody heal yourself. What is going on down here? Okay, full health, good. Um Descend assemble. What is this? Oh, okay, so this is to call it. Oh god, are we really going down here? Hang on. I'm nervous! You can't really go this way. This is the only way to go. Ah! Alright. Is anyone else's tadpole squirming around a lot more than usual? That's not a good sign, right? Mine too. It's excited by something down here. Oh no! What? Oh, where am I exactly now? Oh, I don't want to go down here. This does not look like a good thing is about to happen. No longer a background murmur. The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The absolute is behind this door. I'm not ready. But I have no choice because there's nowhere else I can go. <laughs> the game won't let me leave. Oh, sh there's go who's that? <gasps> Is that Will's dad? You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Mother, f Gortash. Carlock, shut up! I know, I know. Oh, Trust me, I know. Voice. Is this where we salute? Salute. Yes, with cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. Is that Maggie Robinson? Who crawls with failure, like flies Yo, it's Lady D. I have a crush, a huge crush on Lady D. Oh my God! You if you if you see my already. Resident Evil playthrough, <laughs> I have played. My love part. her. <laughs> I recognize her voice anywhere. <laughs> masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue, true soul flaunting it under your nose. We get it, Mr. Malfoy. I know, I know. He's the one voice acting him because I've seen it sure on Twitter that they would and stuff. Follow and deliver it into my hands here, if you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Catherick. He he's got a nice outfit, though. I will give him that. Oh, don't talk about his kid, damn. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. 
She's hot. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? This is quite Orin a trio, I, I must longer. say. The plan proceeds. Who is We're Orin? We're the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane. The Lash of Thor. Oh, sh So, like, I know Ball is, like, the god of, like, death, right? That's what he is. That, that was the, the main protagonist for the last two games, was a Ball spawn. Oh, no. That's a big brain. The Testament of Merkel. Oh my god. So they're like... An elder brain. Right. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There Interesting. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Who will preserve us? No, we can we not save his dad? Flap in vain, old Elaine. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. No, father. Now, it's really time we were. Did go. they not hear us? We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. Wow, he's and actually. I am the hero who will He's actually it. making fun of it. Oh, so it's all a plan. It's all a plan, right? Because he's the leader of Baldur's Gate, right? So he's going to be like, oh, don't worry, I'll save it these people. Is time, faithful ones. March on Baldur's Gate. Oh, we go to prepare the way. Um. This is not good. Oh, gosh. Hang on. Maybe later. Oh, I can't talk to you guys? Maybe another time, yeah? Are we just gonna straight up walk up to Ketherick? He's like half life. Who the hell is this? Somebody cage it up here. Oh my god, there's a mind flayer right there too. He's got some he's got a crew up there. Oh man, I'm gonna get jumped. And we can't really sneak up to him, right? There you are. As hey. predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? Where is Aileen? Where is she? You could have run away. Absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Okay, you don't have to say it like that. Why is the prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. Thanks what to Henry Cavill in my head. <laughs> if they do not obey their master. Let us speak plainly. Okay. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. Okay, so she... Wait. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute. And then take control of it. Okay. 
He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. No, you won't. So this man is saying he sacrificed everything, his, his free will, his mor mortality, and the fact that... I guess like his god too, he, ser he served Saloon before, right? But he, he gave up all of that in order to bring his daughter back to life. So Isabel died. Is that why she was kind of like, you know, when she was trying to protect the inn, she was kind of like weakened after the fact? Is that why she's like that? Because she was raised from the dead? So in a sense, like I said, I do feel bad for Catherick because like he's given up everything for his family. And again, he gave, it, he gave up everything he, who he is, his hu humanity for his daughter. Which is really sad because you don't see anything of him left. So I do wonder how it would have been if I let him take uh, Isabel here. I do wonder, but my second playthrough, we'll we'll find that out. <laughs> let me let me let me try to talk him out of this. I was ready to show you mercy before. It's still not too late. You can repent. He can. It's just a matter of if he wants to. That's the problem. Repent. Would that even be possible? Perhaps. Yeah, you just take back everything. What? No. What? There is no repentance. No release. My debt can never be repaid. He is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is... He is... What the hell? You dare end one who belongs to me. Oh my god, I, I guess I kind of saved him. In a sense that like... He's probably evaporating and suffering, but Catherine kind of redeemed himself there a little bit, right? Of those who are gone, I am the haunt of mausoleums, the god of graves and age, um. of dust and dust. I am Merkel. Oh, sh I did not do that. For I am death. And I am not the end. I am the beginning. Oh no, so I'm literally fighting a god of death right now. Great. How do you kill the god of death? The triad help us. Wait, where is she? Freeing Night Song? That's Night Song! Okay, that's what I was wondering who the hell that was. Okay. All right, hang on, hang on. I gotta think this through. Holy crap, what the hell just happened? Yeah, so we learned about Catholic. I guess in a sense, it's good that I did it that way. It doesn't redeem what he did, but he stopped it from going further. So I guess that takes it as a win, right? Like, I'll take that as a win for helping him. So we need to help- How the f*** do we get her out of there? I- Somebody needs to get to her. Somebody needs to get her. Carlock? You might have to be the first one. Or... It could be me instead. Covered. This is the problem that I'm having. Rage. Can I swipe at anybody? They're they're too far away. Oh 
my god, and he's got like a crew up here too. Alright, I'm gonna move as far as I can with everybody. Shield of Fate. Okay, so that's a concentration spell. I gotta remember that. 181! What did he do? Oh, he scared me. Oh! Oh, oh, he's just calling up. He's just calling up his crew. Again, I think I just have to, like, not focus on, like, the skeleton guys. Because at the same time, what's the point? He's just gonna keep bringing more. I'm frightened. Is there a way I can, like, get out of that? Try. Hey, it was something, you know? It's something. No holding back. Okay, hang on. Fleet of foot. Damn it. Can we jump? No, I can't jump either. Put that on his blade. At least that's something. I don't know. This sucks. I may have to restart this fight. I don't know. We'll see. Carlock can't go! I should have just made Carlock run for it. I don't know why I did that. I thought it would have been fine. Oh, they're bringing us all up here. They're trying to- he's trying to bring us in the hole, this dick! No, uh, can I just dash? Fuck it, get out of here! Best be on my way. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Can I jump? This sucks. This is my time. Okay, go, go, go. We need to get to her. Coming through. Oh my god, this might have been a bad idea. Oh no. Over there. Come on, Carla. Come on, come on, come on. How do I help her? What do I do? I don't have enough action for it. Okay. Okay, um. That's not gonna work. What should I do? Okay, you know what? You attack the Elder Brain because we're here anyway. Will this work on this guy? No! Get out of here! On the move. I'm gonna move her back in case this guy like starts sucking everybody into the hole. Yeah, that's what I thought he was gonna do. Can we help? I can't reach. Are you kidding me? Jump up here. Is she good? I hope she's okay. How the hell did we kill this guy? I really don't know what to do here. Path is interrupted, mother. Um. That really did not do anything, did it? Get up here. Way. <clears throat> ah! 
I, we just need to focus on this guy because he's just gonna keep he's just gonna keep like bringing up people you know like it doesn't matter no, uh, I don't know if like any other arrow will work on him no it doesn't help oh man I don't know what to do I'm scared to go near him just because Oh, I brought something. Hang on. Wait. Can I throw this? Go on. What? What? Oh, oh he missed. What an idiot. Get out of here, Carlac. God. Does this work on you? High defense. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I mean, I could try. I can't get up there. if I can throw something. Let's throw something. Just throw it at this guy. Hey, that's something, right? I don't know. <laughs> now you wear a face. Okay, okay, okay. You gotta help! <laughs> Damn! That's all I have to say. I'm gonna do it on like the third level. I don't know. Gotta help, gotta help somehow. Um, jump back, jump back, because I don't want to get sucked in there. <gasps> I'm dead. I shouldn't have done that. I'm stupid. Okay. We really gotta- How much left do you have? 50. 50, 50. I'll worry about the rest later. I don't give a crap. I thought Will got me, you know? Oh, because Bone Shell probably. Wait, it didn't work? Why? Why didn't it work? Oh no, can I use this? Whoa! I forgot about that. Yeah, let's use that. It's because of the bone shell. That's that's why it doesn't work. Okay, got you. At least I know now. Miss? Are you kidding me? One life to my life. Sustain me, slave. Oh! I'm dead! No, I, I'm dead. Hello? Wait, I'm dead? I, I will restart it if I have to. <laughs> Impossible. Death cannot take me. 
I am its master. You're not. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. <sighs> Isabel. It's a father's grief that led him into madness. Oh God, what do I do about myself? I could sleep for a ten day after that. Hang on, do I have a scroll? Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. All right, hang on a second. Let's go, Kane. Let me use this. I didn't even get to use this cool thing that I was gonna do. Wait, where am I exactly? Where's my character? Hello? Oh, <laughs> I'm like burnt hey. to a crisp! Oh my god. Take two Hells, I need to hold on. Oh my god, dude. Let's get on with it. Take you. Oh my god. Sorry. Anyway, where is Catherick exactly? It's right here. Should mind my step. <clears throat> the grand design. There's some books down there that I want to look at too. Wait, can I look at the books first? Sorry, Aileen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. God, this fight was a hell of a mess. I see Karlak is still on fire. <laughs> this is what we need. In death, the body is cooling. But energy radiates from the stone. Hello? Oh, Henry! Truly. What are you doing out here? Well, now the picture comes together. The absolute is neither god nor man. It is the elder brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. Yeah, that's why they look so similar. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. Okay, first of all, how is it you're able to leave the astral plane now? A temporary reprieve. A prison. <laughs> but a welcome one. With the brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. Ah, so you can kind of get out. What are those stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril. An ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. Right. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasites, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Do you know of who our enemies are? One of them I know. Lord Enver Gortash. I feel like everybody knows him. And a slaver. A worshipper of Bane. A god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it's most likely she follows Baal. Right. The god of murder. Yeah, I've never seen her before. Merkel, which means the absolute is a front for the gods of death. Mm -hmm. And our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. What hope do we have if gods themselves are involved? Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives. And the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Yeah, gate. but this is a lot of pressure. I didn't think we were going to fight any gods now. <laughs> the brain brimming with power. Ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. 
We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance I mean, to that's strike what we've comes, been doing, you true. must take it. For there may only be one chance. Okay, that was a lot. Hang on. Crumpled? No. Can I read this? Papa, I love you. Oh, it's Isabel. Damn, I really just took this guy's like <laughs> stuff. I'm a cumbered, so I gotta give something to Carlac, who is still on fire. Catherick's psalm is no more. And may he stay dead this time. I hope so. Ah, he's dead. He's finished. But Gortash. Gortash was here. I do feel bad for- I feel bad for these two! She sees the person who sold her to a, as a slave, and Karlik's dancing now, and will see his father Gathering's like that. Gathering's defeated, but my father is taken. On to the gate. We must tear him out of the Absolute's grasp. I, I agree, I agree. I- Can I heal myself before we leave? Are we allowed- Can we do that? Cause like, um, we're all almost dead. <laughs> so yeah, I just- This is very overwhelming. So the- I- I learned this cause you guys were telling me in the comments. So like, if- The door the pulses in recognition. Are you gonna open? The presence is weak now. A hollow vessel without a heart. It doesn't resist. Okay, good. Let's go heal ourselves. But, um, yeah, you guys are telling me that, like, people who worship gods, it's essential to worship a god in Faerun because of what happens to them after death. And it kind of makes sense, you know, how everybody's been acting, like, how serious Shadowheart is about Shar. Catherick was, like, very opposed to Saloon just because all of his family suffering and whatever. So it makes sense that it's like that. So it makes me wonder like what kind of God my character would worship. If anyone could tell me in the comments, what are like the elven gods? Like what do high elves normally worship? Somebody who is a noble, somebody who lived in Baldur's Gate, what kind of God would she worship? Cause I am curious about that. You saw Gortash, didn't you? Oh god. What the f was he doing down uh, there? Ha hang on, hang it's on. It's all of this because of him. <laughs> the tadpole, the absolute. How? He's related to it, yeah. It seems he's a servant of Bane, as Catholic served Merkel. Who knows what powers he's gained since you knew him? I'd never have protected a Baneite even a decade ago. I looked after that go with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He's a bastard. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. Don't worry, don't worry, Carl. Like, you will. You will. I promise. We'll do it together, whatever it takes. He can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. It's kind of hot that she said it like that. Anyway, um... Oh, okay, everybody's out here, right? Damn. Oh, Halson, hey! Alright, hang on, hang on. Uh, this is overwhelming. Who am I talking to right now? <laughs> Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. I know. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're That's my home back there. <laughs> I agree. I agree. The absolute cult has Raven God. Where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. Okay. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. 
Or yeah, so seems like nobody knows who Orin is. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Right. Mizoa said you can say what led to your pack in exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Let's see if he'll talk. Wait, huh? Wait, the, I, okay. Yes, but if, if, first question, if your home was under siege, would you, would you sacrifice to save it? I'd like to think it's not about the people uh, it's not about like Baldur's Gate as a whole, but I think m my character would definitely would if it means to keep her friends and family safe. I'd given my life event keeping the residents safe. As would I. And more. I was 17. Oh, he was Father, still a kid. Older Raven Guard had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him continue. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill. The Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let him. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, I didn't, I didn't get it. and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul, and I will give you the power to save it. And and Will she wanting to be the hero. Remember, that's his whole thing too. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Surely Mizora didn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zaria. She never stops. Does she? Not for a second. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. Hmm. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. I don't know if I should say this is like a brave thing because like I, I know it is, but I don't know if Will sees it that way because he definitely regrets it. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Oh, so he couldn't even tell him the truth. Sacrificing your soul to save the city was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound and my lips were sealed. Oh, look at Karlak. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle with the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. Oh, I so that's how they're in connection. The, world, or the depths of the lower dark. 
and still never shake her. You must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. Right. I was a fool at best. But the thing is, he was a kid. Worst. I know and 17 may look Raven like, oh, he's almost an adult, neither. but he's still so young. Do you miss your father? More than you know. Aww. The better question is, did he ever miss me? I think he does. If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Right, he doesn't even know what Will looks like anymore. <sighs> Brother. It's... I wish we could stay and see what this place will be like without the shadows. Yeah, I wish beautiful. we could. No rest for the wicked, huh? Tell me more about your relationship with Gortash. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid. <laughs> brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just. I was gonna like say, she felt like she fit. belonged somewhere. I kept him safe. And he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something oh. away for the future. My future. Oh. I respect Is our family still there, Boulder's Gate? And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in Avernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Oh, God, we gotta make, we gotta make up for it with her. Anyway, um... The shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shark can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. I know, I, I imagine it would be for you. <laughs> you wanted something? Everybody's here. Seems okay, let like me talk to Jahira. Talk. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain, bound by lost Netherese magic, with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know Jahira was... A, she's technically a legacy character, so she was in Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I had no idea about that. <laughs> You've tangled with Dead 3 before. Extensively. Mind flares, too. But I never dreamed of seeing gods and illithids working in consort. It is most disturbing. Yeah, I can only imagine. Take courage. We have killed a man who could not die. And strip the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone. And you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you, and Thanks, I would like this to is be really at nice. your side when you confront them. Yeah, 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 come with us, please. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be glad to have you by my side. Glad to be there. Yeah. Wait, does that mean she's in our party? Cedric convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me that even if I survived I should hang up my blades but you convinced me otherwise we ventured into darkness together now we've come out the other side I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed <laughs> when we reach Baldur's Gate there will be even darker paths to tread I will follow you wherever they lead. Yay! She's in our party! Okay, I'll see you camp. How does it compare to a shadow cursed in? L a little With better? With the absolute <laughs> army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders as well as give them. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's part of our party. That's so cool. Okay. Make haste. Hang on, I'll talk to you in a second, Withers. Nathaniel rests well. <laughs> Stupid. He's <Help> healing <laughs> very rapidly now that Oliver has returned to him. That's good. I'm glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. Me too, honestly. So when will the cost be lifted? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. What happened to Oliver exactly? Did Thaniel absorb him? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a oh, pair. Oh, so they can decide whatever, whatever they, they want to do. Interesting. I hope they will remain as a pair. Me too. I was going to say they should do that. Both to have a friend. Yeah. Once I'm gone. Yeah, Still, that's a good thing. I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations or... Perhaps I hope I can come back over here after Oak going Father to Baldur's Gate. I don't know. I hope he does. Me too. What now? You've got what you wanted after all. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway. What does that mean? Once the curse is Hello? Lifted, <laughs> nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. Thank goodness. This more that you want, what is it? Not what. Who? But all in due course. <laughs> Wait! Um, um... Are you... Are you talking about me? Okay, uh, yeah. Seems your ranks are quite... Um... Helen. <gasps> Isabel. My love, you were dead. What? I saw your body. I'm here. And, and so are you. And my father, he, he can't hurt us any longer. Wait, I what, what is the relationship? Like come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Oh! Oh! Oh, so they were together this entire time. That's messed up. So the father just like took her and oh, used her. There you are. This is Aelin. Oh, don't worry, we met. Aelin, this is. Dude, you have a hot girlfriend. <laughs> But we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew. You're welcome. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later. Yes, go there, now. <laughs> Did I hear you correctly before? Are you Catherick Thorne's daughter? I am. And I'm glad he's dead. But this is precisely what I want to speak to you about later. It'll keep. I promise. Fair enough. Fine, I'll see you at your camp. Very good. We look forward to it. Me too! Now, you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Uh, fair enough! <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> Yo, give her a break. She's been in prison for like how many years? <laughs> She's like, get out of here. I need to go sleep with my girlfriend. <laughs>
That's so funny. But I'm so happy for both of them. Oh my god. Okay, so the tiefling kids. Wait, is Mole up here? Why, yes. Once Althea is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. No, no comments? Okay. Fear is writing us a song. A stupid song won't bring Mole back. So she didn't come back you? here. Where did she go? That's the thing. I don't know where she went. You're here. Good. That's good. Are you all right? Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Mm-hmm. Mole is still missing. I know. And that's what I'm saying. I can't find her. They haven't taken it too her. well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. They're doing good. I'm sure they appreciate it. Maybe. <laughs> I'd love to put on a show just for them. But it's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. All right. Oh, she's actually good. Where is she? <laughs> These freaking kids. Oh, we gotta talk about Zevlor. Hang on. Back in Last Light, I was racking my brains. How the hells do we get past the curse? And then a blinding light cuts through the darkness like a blade through butter. All thanks to you, I hear. Didn't think we'd make it without the old L Rider to lead us. But you did a damn fine job. Thank you. Oh. I freed Zevlo down in the colony. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off as dead. I would. He didn't have any fight left in him. He went his own way. I don't think he could face me or all of you. The briefest hesitation as Saris wars with old loyalties and wins. I looked up to him. We all did. But he let us down when we needed him most. There are less mouths to feed, but we still need supplies for the road. We'll scavenge what we can. Hopefully, we'll see you again in the city. I hope so too. I actually like you guys. And I learned that Zevlor used to be a paladin. So I guess that's why he also feels extremely guilty. New perils await beyond the horizon. Let me talk to Withers. A curse lifted. The dead three allied once more. The balance shifts. Right. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Do illithids possess souls? I don't know. I mean, they act like they don't, and all they do is serve the elder brain, right? But like, when you cut off the elder brain, like that dude in the Underdeep, that mind flayer, he was just acting normal and stuff. Um. I'm sh not sure. Don't all living things? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Hmm. Until such time, be availed of my services. I'm surprised to see you. Why are you here? Where matters of balance are concerned. I guess he I would be, right? Withers is about open. balance. Yeah. Um, speak plainly. Isn't there more you can tell me? No. Okay. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about the Dead Three. Yes. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder. Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake. And the gods shudder. Well, at least we got a little bit of insight. Can I talk to Carlac? Carlog? What is his name? When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, 
He saw our people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. Well, I wasn't it's just me, I had help. <laughs> you've been recruited in an instant. That's sweet of you to say. I grew up hearing stories of Duke Elton. I'm curious, what was he like? Gruff and intimidating. But he had the courage of ten men and a love for Baldur's Gate few could match. I don't know if this Duke Ravenguard is the same, but I will say this. I mean, from what we hear about Will, you know, talking about his dad. The of the city, and the Dukes are its foundation. Right. I hope you can save him for the good of Baldur's Gate. I hope so. That's my house, my home. <laughs> Um, come with me. I could use a flaming fist by my side. Thank you. But look at me. I am a relic. A glimpse of history barely. You can hang out in camp. I don't care. Gift. Besides, Nathaniel should have someone here when he wakes up. It's the least I can do. Okay. Af and after Nathaniel awakens. I don't think there will be an after. The truth is, the shadow fell broke something inside me oh because he's not he's fix. he doesn't belong here right in this time I don't know how long I have, like sh the shadow fell kind of like kept him alive you, right Daniel is safe because of you i could help him as he helped me so thank you my friend and know that i have no regrets thanks you did it catherick thorm is no more the shadow's grip is broken Soon, the land shall heal. I hope so. I'm glad I could help. Not as glad as I am. <laughs> Nature moves at its own pace and bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you when you need it most. Can we go to camp real quick? I want to talk to the others. I thought they were all here because I saw Halson, but... Oh, right, there's a new update you can change. I'm gonna change what I look like too, because that's also something I, I've been meaning to do. Hi, boyfriend! I never saw myself as a banisher of shadows before. <laughs> I was always more of a lurker Just in. Got a stupid helmet on, I gotta, I gotta change it. <laughs> I gotta kiss him. <laughs> you are perfect every time. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I can talk to these two as well. I'll talk to them in a second. Lazelle, any thoughts? The curse is broken and the shadows are lifting. In time, these lands will heal. Not linger in this land over long. But whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. It's nice that she's here. I love that. Oh, wait, Arabella's still here. If Bowman says I'll be all right, I'll be all right. I just wish, I wish it was different. I wish mom and pops was here. Me too. You've been so strong, they'd be proud of you. I don't feel so strong or anything really. Just tired. Oh, poor baby. Hi, Gail. I think we've done rather a good thing here. A welcome change to gift this land a sliver of hope amongst so much despair. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. Yeah. I heard what happened. What he'd become by killing him. You set him free. You set Alien free. And me. You're welcome. Um, is this awkward to say? You and Aileen seem to have a lot of history. What happened? A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick. Thorm is, was, my father. Right. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. Aww. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Oh! Me, do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah, I mean, look at me in a sorry. <laughs> uh, certainly, there's magic in a look. That's exactly it. 
And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew. Aw, that's so it. cute. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. Aww. But my father was skeptical. Okay. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. You can't help who you then, love, it's true. And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. Yeah, because he gave up everything for you. He'd become a chosen of Merkel. I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No right. matter what. Right. That's understandable. I, I totally get it. It's okay. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except... For Aelin, she needs healing, rest. I'm grateful for your help, your friendship. Yeah, of course. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long, but I'm grateful for us. No, hang out here. To... Go, you know, hang uh, out with your girlfriends. It's okay. To be. <laughs> Let me talk to Aelin now. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. What? Um. All right. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorm, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the Slayer. Of the wicked one. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm gonna say that because she did come and clutch there. If it wasn't for her, we'd all be dead. <laughs> we are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Me too, because you guys are good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's a great deal of that I don't know about you. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Oh, okay. Are you really Saluna's daughter? Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the Dead Three? <laughs> Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side. True. Dame that Aelin. is actually true. She is here, so right? Mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. How did you come trapped in... How did you... How did you come to be trapped in Shadowfell? <sighs> Ketherick Thorn. Father of my one and only love. Enslaver of Dame Aelin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ketherick Thorn never did trust me. Even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my I was about to ask me. that. Why was he so by offended that they me. were dating? When she Is Catholic died, homophobic? <laughs> curse the day, the hour. We each of us mourned bitterly. Yeah. But Catherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to Wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. 
and Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. Right, that's how but he was lo, constantly coming back. Dead, and we, we live. Okay. Um, happy for you too. <laughs> Let me like change my stuff. I, I do want to kind of like update my look, you know. That is the one thing I'm really happy about with the new update. You can change how your character looks. <laughs> All right, we're rocking with our hair down this time. I'll probably change it a little bit later anyway, because, you know, I want to give my character like a different look every once in a while. I still like her hair like up. That's still like one of my favorites, having her hair up. But we're going to change it for, for this part of the playthrough. God, you're beautiful. Thanks, you like the hair? <laughs> More difficult for me to ruin things if I just keep out of the way. Shadow Heart? I, I just wanted you to like get out because I wanted to make sure Halston was with us because he wasn't at camp. I don't think it's her fault. Oh my god. I swear. Good. Now our roots can deepen. Together. Moonrise has been cleansed. Boulder's Gate is next. Then again, these towers are much like the Absolute. I owe you an apology. Um... For what? I saw you as a means to escape. Nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. I apologize. That's for okay. For seeing your true worth. Listen, you don't being, know me, so like, why should you believe me, frankly, you know? So I kind of get it. In last light. Apology accepted. I wasn't sure you would. I appreciate it. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand gnomes are going to save the city. And you can be part of it. Um, ooh, ooh. Can I just ask? If you want my help, I'm going to need more to go on. The plan is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Find me in the city. And once you see what it's become, you'll know that I and I alone can stop it. Okay, I'm I'm taking your word for it, but hey, we got another ally, good. Deadline okay, I'm gonna I steal. Do. I don't know why the, this is all floating right now, but I'm gonna take all the stuff that we needed for our camp, you know? All right, let's we see how it's looking out here. Absolute alive, thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fight. Right, there's still two more. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Um, I mean, we'd get J Jahira and Holson. I don't know if there's any more we can get, but I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Mm -hmm. Holson's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed... We will need others. I hear you. So who else do we need to get? Um. Will there be anyone left that we... Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. That, that's there true. He does have a point. There are those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet. But its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the absolute, the chosen, all. Dude, I hope you're right. Okay, so let me see what's going on on the map. So, yeah, this is where we need to go. I, I do wish we could have seen what the shadow lands would look like without Shadowfell, but I guess we're gonna have to wait on that. Whatever awaits us on the road ahead, we can at least be proud that the Shadow Curse is no more. 
That is true. So he's basically saying, even if we die, at least we did this. <laughs> All right, guys, this is going towards Boulder's Gate. I can't believe it. I've been waiting for like, I've been playing this game for probably more than 75 hours now because that's the last time I looked at it. And we finally get to Boulder's Gate. So I'm wondering how this is going to be. All right, I guess I have nothing left because like I, I, I did everything. And Shadowfa, at least I think I did, right? Oh god, I'm scared. We're at camp? Where's Shadowheart? I think she'll want a word. Oh, Shadowheart? Oh, right! I completely forgot about that. Shadowheart needs to talk to her. Hey, Hulson, can you stay here for a while? What do you know about me? Here we go. You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. Clearly. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Yeah. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. Her wound you on her hand. tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. Two you others? Feel Shadow Heart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Okay. Your mind joins. If she with approves, I'm fine with that. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. Baby Shadow Heart! It is a common right among Saluna's followers to send their children off into the woods to find their way home. Perhaps this time I was to right. Why, it seems that one child never came back. I was right. She's a follower of Saloon instead. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize It's your her own dad. Blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not a Poor shadow are. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents i need to save them i'll help of course of course i'll help her your parents are with your abductors you will need to return to their lair but be warned you may have once thought of them as comrades mentors friends even lovers they will all be enemies now yeah you because they didn't forewarned you didn't kill her come, but not yet forearmed I'm just gonna observe silently because this is a Shadow Hearts moment. The spear. How do you have it? I threw it into the Shadow Fell. Shar is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shar calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. That's true, they, they are, are sisters. One and the same. Yeah. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. 
You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Can we talk about that? Sha torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Is Aileen and just uh... Isabel standing watch over us? <laughs> I've been lied to. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to you just were a kid. believe it. You were a kid. You didn't know. I wonder what her real name is. I don't I think it's Shadowheart. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. You've been forced to live a lie. At least now the truth is starting to reveal itself. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Right. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better There's still press on a lot for now. going on with her, and so I don't. We're ready when the moment I'm comes. gonna. But before that, let her grieve. There's one thing I need to see to. And what's that? You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Uh, okay. So, it's a quest to free Shadowheart's parents, is it? And here I was, worried I'd be the only one with a difficult family reunion waiting in the city. Yeah, it seems like everybody will have a difficult reunion or something to confront in Baldur's Gate. I was just wondering when you'd invite me back for a bite. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw forth whatever vengeance she desires. I like how supportive we're, everybody is. <laughs> Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes... Sometimes I wonder. Taken from the light to be raised in darkness. Your truth is finally dawning, Shadowheart. You can follow its light, or... You can uh, retreat back into dust. Oh, okay. The truth is finally dawning. <laughs> I was like, it's kind of glitching. Shadowheart can follow its light, or she can retreat back into dusk. Shadowheart was no true child of Shah, merely a captive. She must have her vengeance. <laughs> I, lo I love Lazelle. She she was tricked. We must get vengeance for her. Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. <laughs> She's like, get away from me. I want to kiss my girlfriend. <laughs> How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. You should join my camp permanently. We could fight eat powers of evil together. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Yeah. Wait, does that she mean she's actually permanently in my party? Because I like that. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. So, we defeated Kethic Thorm once and for, but there's two more other people that are a part of this. So, seems like the the gods of death are trying to control the mind flayer, or at least the elder brain, so that they can take over, which is what I did not expect. So, the absolute is just like the whole thing. These three people trying to control the, the lithid mind flayers. And now they're going to set their attacks on Baldur's Gate. And obviously we have to head over there. But everybody has a lot of baggage. So I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. We have to deal with Gortesh and Orin. So I'm kind of nervous because I know more about Gortesh. But I don't know anything about Orin. And she seems to be somebody who enjoys or worships Baal, right? And I know the god of murder. Th that was kind of like what the main protagonists of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 were, right? They were a ball spawn. So I'm curious to see how Orin is going to like correlate into all of this because she's very interesting and also she's voiced by Maggie Rabison, so I'm very excited about that. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Baldur's Gate 3, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!